If you are like me, then you may also want to keep track of the work that you are doing in terms of time. Now, when you're working with org mode, you can also log your time. So let us say you are working on uh, a specific uh, task. So let me create a new task in this file. So let us say this is a task that uh, needs to be tracked and you basically want to log your time. Now, in org mode, you can do that. And there is also a shortcut. So if you press Control C, Control X, Control I, so Control C, Control X, and Control I, it will insert a logbook, and it will also start the timer. So basically, it's, it is nothing but a date. So right now it has it has inserted this uh, date, which is uh, today's date, but also a time. Now it will of course uh, keep on uh, running, kind of running, but uh, uh, in reality it is nothing but a timestamp which is now inserted. Now when you're done with your work, let us say you want to work on this, and uh, maybe you want to spend a couple of hours on this particular activity, and. Uh, uh, then you may want to stop this logging. So what you can do, you can uh, press Control C, Control X, Control O. So I'll do that. Control C, Control X, and Control O. So it will also insert uh, this uh, end date kind of a thing where you can see that you have worked on this activity for one minute, which is not really great, but. Uh, Apart from these two features, what I also do, I don't really use this uh, Control C, Control X, Control I, and uh, Control C, Control X, and Control O all the time. I can also manually insert the date. So let us say I started this activity maybe uh, one hour ago, so I can change it manually. Now you may want to also change uh, the uh, the date here. Let me just uh, show you this. So whenever you stop the clock, it will calculate the time difference or the time interval, but you can also update it whenever you want. So for doing that, you can keep your cursor at this time range. And if you press Control C, Control C, it will update the time for you or the time interval for you. So th these are the two things that I, or you know, just two or three things that I use if I have to. Sometimes when I'm running my work, I also want to keep track of how much time I spent, like a traditional time sheet or time tracking. So you can do that with the with the org mode. There are ways to also pull this out and create a report. And I will definitely talk about those aspects. But in this video, I quickly wanted to show you how to do it in case you're wondering whether you can do time tracking with org mode. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.